Hello guys, it's me Z from Metro. Oh, sorry, it's me Z from Wireless Solution, and today we are going to work on uh, the LG V30. It has Google verification lock. So what we are going to do, you can see, you just need to put a uh, memory card in the phone. If there is no SIM card, that's fine, but you need to have the memory card in the phone and I will tell you why I put the memory card <coughs> so you go back make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi okay come to this screen go to accessibility uh, go to setting go to vision turn on talk back turn on now on. on the screen talk make an L shape so you can see talk back, talk back setting double tap talk it now we already here in the screen so what you need to do volume up and down press and hold both at the same time after a few seconds you will get this message so you can hit the use and double tap the use and again volume up and down both you have to put it at the same time so this one this time you can see the talkback turns off now you can scroll down <coughs> help and feedback once we are in help and feedback get access you will click on the screen once you click on the screen you can see the clock sign you will click on the clock sign accept and continue no thanks now what you need to do here you will type google.com go now we are going to download a software here type bit dot l y forward slash <coughs> l g b a c k back up and hit go now we are here so you need to click download continue allow download so once this is being downloaded you can see that the download is being completed to confirm that the download is being completed you need to go here check in downloads that it's still downloading or no if it's still downloading you need to wait because some of the internets are slow now uh, type here google.com <coughs> again and here uh, put like walmart or something like that and go to map so it will tell you are you allowing the egg uh, to verify your address then click on this one so it finds your location that where are you now again put Walmart so it will take nearby Walmarts or Walgreens or anything you can click <coughs> okay so it will take you to all Walmarts now click on one of them it will take you to directions okay okay use the app give me one second we need to go back a little it's playing with us okay you need to click on the map <coughs> skip now we are here click on this direction sign hit start got it once you are here click on this mic sign and say Open Google. Open Google. <coughs> now you can cancel this one. Say no thanks. So it will take you to all the information that we need in the phone. So what we need to do file manager. So you can click on file manager here. Allow. <coughs> what we are going to do that LG backup. Okay. So you will click on these three dots. Move select the file move to the sd card but i already have an lg backup but still for your convenience i will type it again and either skip or overwrite means i already have the same file in the sd card but for you guys you guys will not get this message so <coughs> i transferred it now i need to go back once i go back what I'm going to search, I'm going to search 
<coughs> LG mobile switch so click on this one once you are here hit agree SD card restore and once you hit restore <coughs> so personal data remove this one setting remove this one and you can see the download app you will leave this one the text sign you will leave this one now you will hit next restore so it's going to restore it may take a few moments <coughs> now you hit restart now the phone is going to be restarted uh, I have a customer give me one okay guys so once the phone is being restored so you will become on this page so what you are going to do you will uh, press the uh, volume up and down at the same time <coughs> so it will talk take you back on. to this talk screen again tutorial. so we will do Blue the same text to talk, talk back, back setting settings. double talk tap press tutorial. volume up and down audio at the same time to talk back off go down help and feedback or oh, get started with voice, voice access click on the screen one time go to the um, the clock sign here type Google again google.com <coughs> um, in this one type again Walmart once you go to Walmart click on the map <coughs> it will be repeating the same step but this time we are going to do something different then start click on here open Google okay so you need to cancel this one now we are in open google so this time we are going to search for QUICK quick shortcut maker click on this one <coughs> now we are here so you will we will go down once we go down so we will find the setup wizard once you click on this one so one two three on the third one click here <coughs> and click this one try so you can see everything is being gone you can see that everything has been restored so what you can do just to the phone will restart itself but just to check that the phone is working before if you go to setting you couldn't go to setting about the phone the phone will restart itself but I'm checking the software version the software version is 8.00 Android security patches this one and uh, these are all the information about the phone and in a few moment this phone will restart itself <coughs> okay so now while we are here I need to check something else about phone okay it will take a few seconds to restart the phone so I'll pause the video okay guys so if the phone don't restart itself so what we are going to do <coughs> we are in the setting go to about the phone uh, once we are uh, about the phone go to the software version go to building number tap the building number you are a developer now go back so developer option is not here developer option is here you will click on this one okay so you can see enable OEM unlocking click on this one enable it okay you will go back reset and go come here factory data reset okay and restart the phone delete all and reset <coughs> so it will delete everything that is in the phone uh, 
the same way you can do it with the LG Stylo 4, the new LG Aristo 3 but with this phone the only thing is the phone is not restarting itself so you have to remember to do the building number and then go to developer option to turn on enable the OEM mode so now uh, uh, the phone will restart itself in few seconds and then we will see that we, we are going to pass through everything so guys the phone is being restarted so let's check it out set as new skip continue <coughs> next next no thanks next skip anyways except adding finishing touch next except and done Okay, so you guys can use the phone again. Thank you so much and uh, for supporting you guys uh, from you guys in comment section. And if you have any question, any problem, so please leave in the comment box. Thank you guys. Have a nice one. Enjoy your time. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, that really give me a boost and energy. Thank you. Have a nice one. Enjoy your time.